Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys? BANGLE again here coming back at you with another video. Today we're going to play Arkansas State but before we do that, of course, we have a coaching upgrade and uh, almost more important than that coaching upgrade we have recruiting information that I have not looked at yet. We can also upgrade our points, so I want to get the closer. For sure. We're going to go ahead and buy that for Coach Bengis Khan. But it's time to look at recruiting. We have a lot of points to allocate. This means that we really could go in on a lot of players. But we have to check out some of our guys. Doug Dedman is visiting today. Denman, whatever I said. We got to check out the athletes. Doug Denman has locked us out. <laughs> Why are you coming then? Bobby Caldwell, we're in the lead. Colby Spencer, we're in the lead. We are close to losing it on Greg Falks. Heath Pruitt, we barely have the lead. Just barely over the Texas Longhorns. And Scott Lewis, we're I guess tied with Nebraska, even though we don't technically have the lead. He's a player I would really like to bring in. And a lot of it has to do with that 95 speed. I won't lie to you. Now we're in a battle for a lot of these players. We can now afford to up the points. We're down by a lot. Is there any point even throwing in 500? Let's scout him. Uh, you know, 89 speed. He's okay. We'll continue to pursue. We have the points at this point. Nick Olsen. We're also going to up the points on him. Can't hurt to bring in another linebacker. And we have visits scheduled for all these guys. Are they coming this week? I mean, they'd have to be, right? I guess. Oh, so why does they visit scheduled if, if he already came? A lot of these guys have already came here. I'm not really sure. So we'll go to quarterback. Check everything out. We could schedule a visit. It would have to be this week. So Chris Porter, who I want to come to Ozark State. He's going to join us, I would say, pretty much no matter what. Wide receiver, Larry Jones. Again, pretty much going to join us no matter what. He is a 70 overall, 91 speed. Uh, wow, not really a good, not really great catching receiver. <laughs> but he is, he can run fast in a straight line. I am less excited about Larry Jones now. I really am. He's not that great. But you know what? You take what you can get. We're Ozark State, let's not forget. There's no real point in giving him more points. We'll do a couple on these guys. Again, not that there's really a point. I don't think this is going to make or break, make a difference on any of these players even. We've added a tight end to our board. Uh, I don't know why. I guess the CPU did that. He looks bad. Whatever happens, happens. But, um, yeah. I think recruiting, it's gone very well. And it's exceeded my expectations if we can bring these guys in. If we can't, yikes. But for now, it's looking promising. Playing the Red Wolves today of Arkansas State at home at dual field. And they are one of the tougher teams we faced all year at a 77 overall. Obviously Bama, obviously Oklahoma. Big powerhouses. But these guys are pretty good in their own right. And it's interconference play at this point. So these are going to be matchups you see year in year out these are important games chris porter visiting today doug denman visiting today i don't know chris porter i think he's pretty good i don't know what his future is going to be with the team he's a five-star recruit and he's only a 71 overall and i say only that's better than our starting quarterback now <laughs> i don't know we'll have to see let's see what happens arkansas state isn't terrible this really could be a tough matchup for us but we got a lot of heart and also guns. We're the outlaws. All right, we're going to start things off returning the outlaw back deep. Let's do this. We got it. 28 minutes of football remain. That's what seven times four is. I'm not a math guy, but I'm pretty sure 28. Who's our quarterback today? It's a good question. It is Pedro Goddard. So the Kedrick Cunningham era is over. We can actually throw the ball maybe. 
And by maybe, it's an absolutely. It's Roland Francisco. Starting things off with a 29-yard reception. That's a throw that Kedrick Cunningham could never have made. Never in a million years. Pedro Goddard, read option. We're just gonna slide. I'm not, I'm not dealing with hits, okay? Rolling out with Pedro Goddard. And we have a lot of room. We're just gonna step out of bounds following the 16-yard gain. Third and nine. Uh, that is not accurate at all, Pedro. What are you doing? It's not even close. We need Kendrick Cunningham back. That's a great punt, though. Let's get underneath that. What? Wow. Um, that was such a good punt, too. That sucks. How are you going to shove him off? What has he got? A magic wand? Get it? His last name? I don't know if you guys can see that. It says wand. Read option. Oh, we bit hard. I need a fumble on that. Justice Hansen. We found our most success when we blitzed this year. We f Oh, wow. Johnston White. That's an, that's an annoying name. Johnston White. Because I, it's honestly, it fits with the last name because Johnston has got to be one of the whitest first names I've ever heard in my life. It's like up there with Tucker and like, I don't know, Carl. I don't know, Carl goes both ways. That's not a great example, but like Tucker and Skyler and like, you know, uh, others, I'm sure. You got a super white name? Drop it in the comment section. I'd be delighted to know. Even if it's not your name, drop some examples. Like it Baker. <laughs> Baker Mayfield Mac. I don't know Mac maybe goes both ways Going to the end zone and Kendall Sanders catches it 22 yards and a touchdown as Arkansas State goes up early Nothing you can really do about that just beat press down the end zone. Second and four. Handoff goes to Maxwell. He picks up the first down. Here's another handoff for Darren Maxwell. We really have struggled to get him going. He just doesn't have that breakaway speed that you look for. And it's, it's unfortunate, but what can you do? Second and two. Handoff. Maxwell. Trying to get anything going. Can't. Third down and four. Rolling out with Goddard. Ah, oh, wanted to throw B. No. Ah, oh, hesitation kills. He who hesitates is lost, and that's true because that's a lost opportunity. Yeah, fourth and eight just kind of had to be a punt here. It's really unfortunate because things were looking pretty good. That's going to be a little bit of open room. Antoine Watts wrestles him down, but Warren Wand... That's a lot of W's, by the way. Watts wrestles Warren Wand. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm writing a tongue twister. Third and three. That is so open. No. I need a Kachow right now. Lightning McQueen up the middle. Bang! Hanson goes down in the backfield. Beautiful loss of two. User pick. No! No! Twice off his hands. I want the easy reads. I want the Dr. Seuss book. They're killing me out here. It's been episodes since I've referenced it. It hurts so much. Oh, that needed to be a sack, and somehow it's completed. Blake Mack. Blake's a pretty white name. Like, Blaze, too, I feel like is pretty white. <laughs> what are we talking about? Justice. I don't even know what that is. That's not even a... I don't think it's a name. Oh, what in the... 
Justice Hansen two yard touchdown run. Deplorable. I was in the backfield. I read it like a book. And it doesn't pay off. We allow a touchdown. I want to get out of this. Oh my goodness. We're going to take a delay game here if we don't snap this quickly. We do snap it quickly though. And we're going to go deep down the field. Ass. Third and six. That's wide open. It's Ryan Muller with a block in front of him. It actually did more harm than good. A true shame. There's Rodriguez finding the open area in the zone. Soft coverage. We'll beat that all day. Actually, got to start throwing the ball. I got to remember, and this is part of my problem, but I have to remember, this is Pedro Goddard. He's not an elite arm by any means, right? But he is not Karan Kirkpatrick. He can actually throw the ball. We can sit in the pocket and just find the open man. Whether it's a check down to Jake Rodriguez. I don't know how I got out of bounds there. That's oh, very frustrating. Third and five. Oh, my goodness. We're not going to find anything. We got to throw it away. We're going to go for it on fourth and five, though. Again, it's this classic situation, out of field goal range, past midfield. When it's about like six, five, six yards or less, I'm going for it every single time. We worked a lot out of the pistol. And to a lot of success with Kedrick Cunningham, these were throws that he could easily make. And he'll still be on the field. Not on this particular play. But we see him a lot at wide receiver. He's been a big playmaker for us. We got to throw that ball, though. It's Nothing got open. And there's a blaze. Unbelievable. <laughs> and he's not white. All right. Oh, did he, he recover from that? That's super unfortunate. We just got to send straight heat up the middle. It's the only thing that's been working for us defensively. Putting pressure on the quarterback. And it works to perfection. Montrell Gardner. Like, I want you guys to know, and you guys probably are very aware, this is a bad, bad player that somehow makes these incredible plays from time to time. He really... He's a fan favorite. Would go undrafted. You know, 10 times out of 10. But he makes some good plays happen. Watts! What are you doing? Tackle him. It's a big sack if we get it going. It's like, a, like an elephant, maybe. Elephants have... Whatever. We're going we're gonna to move past it. Third down and 16. Coverage over the top. Over the middle and jumped. And Antoine Watts with the user still can't intercept the ball. I'm timing it perfectly. I can guarantee you. There's no, this is not field goal range. Are you out of your mind? You know how deep this is? There's no shot. You're not even close. Well, I mean, close within reason. But I don't know how you line up your kicker and say, hey, you got this. No, you don't. Goddard finds his man, Ryan Muller, 18 yards out of bounds. I feel like we're still in this game. It's going to be a tough win for sure. But we're only down by 14. I don't think we return at halftime, unfortunately. But we've been playing good defense. Just got to start forcing some turnovers. And Ryan Muller drops the ball. Literally and figuratively. You know, uh, how do you even say that last name? W. Luster? The W has to be something else. I don't know what the hell it would be. That play action crushed us. Got to cancel that. I like the play art, though, so we're going to call something similar. And maybe find a... Nothing. We're forced to punt again. This pressure has been coming in. So, so fast. We really haven't faced much like it the entire year. Like Alabama, maybe. Oklahoma really didn't give us that much. But we've been facing pressure on a lot of our dropbacks. And it's just not a good way to win a football game the impression taking a deep shot unbelievable what are these last names Eccles Looper we had coverage there Cameron Eccles Looper first catch of the game goes for 50 we had 
two defenders, corner and safety combo. Safety help over the top. It just makes no attempt to go after the ball whatsoever. Hanson going to take off. Montrell Gardner stands him up. Keep him out of the end zone. We got a chance. Hanson fumbles. It's recovered by Wand. Again, just like Magic. He manages to get the ball back. Yeah, that pun's going to be happening all game. I apologize. Field goal is up and good. Here, here's what needs to happen. We need to just get the ball and go down. We're not going to score a touchdown here. We just need to go down. Well, I say that, but Chris Outlaw stumbles. No! We had something. Do we have to kick? We might have to kick. Ah, oh, God, we got to kick. Wind against us. The kick booms just short of the goal line. And Echoes Looper going to return it. Pretty good return, actually, for him. To the 30, 31 yard line, maybe. Look at that airtight coverage. And we still came back to get the sack. That's number 45. They give it to Jeff Fisher. It's not. It's not Geoff, all right? That was the Fisher. No, it wasn't. I mean, it was Colt Nash. Colt 45. That number change was just the worst because he doesn't make plays ever. It's just a waste. Oh, it's a screen. Look how slow Montrell Gardner is, but that heart plays a lot faster than any speed rating could ever. We're still in this, only down by 17. We haven't gotten in the end zone yet. But, hey, you never know. If Pedro Goddard was consistent, we really could be in a spot right now. Just our quarterbacks have far too much inconsistency. Third down and seven. Here is play action. Uh, not quite where we wanted it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm trying. Is it play calling? Is that my issue? I think it's a lot more than that. Nothing got open there. Nothing developed. Gardner! Can't make the stop. Your name is not Dijon. Honey Dijon Mustard with the reception. Unbelievable. The cast and characters on this Arkansas State team continue to boggle the mind. Let me tell you. Oh, is that a touchdown? Wow. All right. All right. I don't really know what to tell you about that. Is it on Pedro Goddard? At what point is that the decision? Because we've won games with Kendrick Cunningham. I mean, we've also won games with Pedro Goddard. But uh, there's something about the Pedro Goddard to the receiver connection where they just don't play that well when he's in. I don't know what it is, but we just, we're not the same team with him at quarterback anymore. And I know RB was open there. We're going to scramble with Goddard. I think it's probably for the best. Try to slide there. I'll take the 27. A very dangerous 27. That's open and underthrown, obviously. We get separation, and, and Goddard just can't hit him, man. Very disappointing. Because look at that. We, we had space. That's, that's so unfortunate. I think that's going to cap her off. Hey, it's a GG. All right. We're getting the ball back. I'm committed to making this a somewhat close game. As long as the defense can play well, I'm telling you, we're bringing it offensively for the rest of the game. I want at least 17 points. 
It all starts with this drive. That's a good start. Ryan Muller catches it for 13. Ducks out of bounds. That's wide open. Goddard misses him. Uh, there's only so much I can do about that, but I'm going to try to uh, overcome it and get us on the board. Even though they are better than us, this is an absolute embarrassment at home. Absolute embarrassment. As Goddard finally finds Jake Rodriguez again. I like it. Now we're going to find Darren Maxwell. Fucking... Darren Maxwell, I love it. Over the middle, open, Karan Kirkpatrick. I want some more of it. Pedro Goddard, swerves back to the inside. I need a better block there. I didn't give you a lot to work with, Roland Francisco, but that doesn't mean that I don't want it. I need it. That's open. We throw that ball earlier. Third and ten. Got the tight end open in the flat. It's Jake Rodriguez. Oh. What do we do here? A field goal doesn't help us. Fourth and seven. Goddard. Stepping up. Finding the end zone. Touchdown. I'm getting hyped over a nine-yard touchdown run. Down 31 to six. Now 31 to seven, I'd guess. I'm going to get hyped about it because we're finally on the board. That's step one. We didn't get shut out. We, you know, put our mind to it on that drive and we accomplished the goal of scoring a touchdown. Wasn't pretty, but we did what we set out to do. We just got to do that in more drives. Hanson going deep. Somebody make a play on the ball. You guys suck so bad. I want to replace the entire team. That's going to be a pretty big gain. You know what? It isn't about defense at this point. <laughs> it's about putting up points uh, offensively. We're not, we weren't going to win the game. That's open. Please catch it. It's the quarterback, Kendrick Cunningham, with a 24-yard reception on fourth down. I'd love to roll out to the right. It's fourth and 22. No one gets open. Roland Francisco does, I guess. I, actually, I don't know. Are we a fourth down only team? We don't do anything on any other down. Ah, it's an interception. Well, you know what? I should have just kneeled it till fourth down. That's where we really come alive. We suck. You know, Bangle, you aren't the best at NCAA. You suck. Fucking eat me, dude. You're really going to take a delay a game delay up 38-7 to seven with three seconds to go? Unbelievable. Down. What? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Slipping. Ozark State doesn't want losing to become a habit. We slipped and fell down a flight of stairs. And there's no one to sue. Because we own the building. Something tells me we're not going to the conference championship. Four and eight. Could have been a worse starting season. I'm not sure how. But it, it probably could have been. So this is conference championship week. Next week will be bowl season, end of bowl season, and of course, end of the season. And that will all be in, I believe, an off-season stream at some point. Now, as you're watching this, I can tell you one thing certainly has happened. I had a facial surgery to reconstruct the inside of my nose so that I can actually breathe out of it now. And um, I really do want to stream the off-season on my Twitch. Link in the description, twitch.tv slash bangle. There will be an announcement video, I'm sure, at the time. I'm not sure when it's going to be because I'm not sure when you're watching this and I'm not sure how my recovery from the surgery is going. So, I've tried to record a lot of these in advance. 
I hope it's soon. That's really all I can give you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.